Good evening and thanks for watching tonight. His family says they just want answers. But tonight, nearly a month after Berea Mann was killed by a hit and run driver, police have not made any arrests in this case. Police say that 71 year old Billy Croucher died the night of September 18th after being hit by a pickup. Today, police told us they're out of leads. And new tonight, Croucher's wife talks to us about how the family is not giving up in their fight for justice. Our Monique Blair has our top story at 11. We get up and do a little old dance like thing, but nobody can't do it like him. Frida Croucher misses her husband of 36 years every day. And now she is left wondering who hit 71 year old Billy Croucher and then drove away. I can't sleep at night. And I wake up all hours of the night just wondering, you know, who done this? I mean, how can anybody hit somebody, not know it, and drive off? Berea police say the truck that hit and killed Billy Croucher here at the corner of Prospect Street and Forest Street had front driver's side damage and rust stains on it. Police say after they offered a $1,000 reward shortly after Croucher's death, several tips did come in, but none of them have led them to a suspect, and their investigation has since hit a dead end. So now Frida Croucher has just one question for the person responsible for killing her husband. Why didn't you stop? You know, why did you not stop? At least stop. And although an arrest won't bring her husband back, Frida says it would give her some answers to what happened the night he was killed. I have to drive by where he was hit and killed every day, and it's hard. Because you just drive by and all the markings are on the road and everything. It's just hard. In Madison County, everybody knew him, everybody liked him. Monique Blair, WKYT. Police in Berea are still offering that $1,000 reward for the arrest and conviction of the person responsible for the hit and run.